Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Bearded Dev. If you are new to the channel and have got an interest in business intelligence, data development or analysis, then do subscribe for more great content. And if you do enjoy this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up as well. Um, so in this video, we're going to be doing a SQL tutorial looking at window functions again. And we're going to be looking at lag and lead. So this is a request um, that I've had in the comments from Catherine Flanagan. Um, and we're just going to be going through a tutorial on that today. Uh, I'd like to just say, first of all, thanks for all the positive feedback. I will keep producing videos. Uh, so lag and lead, they're useful for trend analysis, uh, which will become apparent shortly. So lag returns the value from the previous row and lead returns the value from the next row. So let's jump over to SQL Server Management Studio now. Uh, we'll go through some examples of how to use lag and lead and the syntax. So we're in SQL now and I've just prepared a very quick query uh, that I'm going to put make available in the comments below so you can actually create this table and work through the examples we're going to go through. Uh, so we're just going to create a sales table here. Uh, it's got a primary key on sales ID. There's a sales customer ID, a sales date, sales amount. And we're going to insert five rows. They're all for the same customer. We're just going to keep it simple while looking at these examples. So I'm going to go ahead and execute that now. Uh, brilliant. So we should have five rows in our newly created sales table. So I'll just go ahead and write just a quick query to have a look at that table. Yeah, so we've got our sales ID. Uh, so as I mentioned previously, that's just a primary key I've thrown in there. Sales customer ID, we're just looking at one customer and a very small amount of roles. Just keep things simple while you're learning SQL. Uh, and you'll find that once you know the basics, they're very easy to build on. So we're going to be looking at lag and lead. And as we know, they're part of window functions, so they do require a window frame. So why would we use lag and lead? So the best example we could have a look at is we're going to take this customer and we're going to see how his spend fluctuates with us. So what I'm going to do, we'll go start off looking at lag initially. I'll just space this out so it's a bit more clearer. Uh, and as mentioned in the slide, so lag returns the value from the previous row. So let's go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to write the keyword lag. And then what we're going to lag is the sales amount. So we're going to have a look at that. Again, we need our over clause because we're using uh, window function. I am going to partition by customer ID, uh, which is sales underscore customer ID. Um, obviously, we've only got one customer in this table, so that's not going to do anything for us. But if we had a lot more customers, then we would need to partition by customer if we're looking at that particular bit of detail. We'll just give this an alias as prev value, short for previous value, and we'll throw in a few more columns. Uh, we won't worry about the sales ID, uh, that doesn't really mean anything to us. Um, but we'll return all the other columns, not sales date, sales amount. There we go, and if I go ahead and execute that query now, we can see we've got our columns as we would expect. Uh, but then we've got this new previous value column. And what this is showing us is on our order on the 3rd of January, that sales amount for that day was 72.99, but the previous customer value was 54.99. And as we can see in the row above, that is the value. And if we go down the rows, we can see that it's always the previous value repeated. Now, this is a key aspect for window functions, especially when we want to look at trends data, because 
to return this within just a normal SQL query would involve a lot of self joins. Well, in this case, just one self join, um, but it'd be quite a complex query. So what the lag and lead do is remove that complication for us. What I'm simply going to do is drop sales amount uh, below our lag and then we'll go ahead and have a look at lead so lead is the next value so again because it's a windows we will partition it by sales customer id and we're going to order by sales date and we'll alias this as next value i'll just remove the blank space there so as we can see we've now got over time this customer on his if we look at the second row he spent 72.99 the previous value he spent 54.99 so we can see it has increased there but on his next value it actually decreases so we can use this data to have a look at how our customers are spending or any trend and what's not that well known about lag and lead is they also accept multiple parameters so we can actually enter an offset in here so the default is always one but i could enter two and i'll do that in lead as well and if we go ahead and execute that query now we'll see a difference in the result so we can see for the first two column for the first two rows our previous value has been nulled and then for the lead a function our next values the last two are also null so we're offsetting it by two rows so if we have a look right in the middle we can see the 34.99 the previous amount offset by two would be 54.99 and the next value the greatest value would be 67 pounds but there's also a third parameter we can enter with lag and lead and that is to replace nulls. So we don't have to wrap this and in his null statement, we can simply enter a third parameter. In this case, I'm just going to enter zero and we can see we can go ahead and execute that now and we can see where the previous value or next value was null, that's defaulted to zero for us. I hope you've enjoyed that overview looking at lag and lead. If you want to do some more work with window functions, there's a lot more videos on my channel and there will be a lot more coming soon. If you'd like me to do a video on anything you're struggling with or interested in, uh, do post it in the comments down below. Thanks a lot for watching. Check out my other videos on the channel. There's lots of great content on there and I am uploading uh, as much as I can at the moment. Uh, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click that notification button to be made aware of when new videos are uploaded. And feel free to share the video around uh, and let's create a community. Thanks a lot for watching.